here's what we're gonna make today. This super cute magnetic DIY Dollar Tree sign. Here we go. Hey, let's get started on this one. We're gonna use some Mod Podge, some wood beads that I got from Amazon. We're gonna use a sanding sponge. I got some twine from the Dollar Tree. And then I have these scissors, just a regular pair of scissors. You're gonna need a pen. You're gonna need these wire cutters or some sort of cutters to cut metal. Your glue gun with some Gorilla Glue. And I got these two metal flags at the Dollar Tree. And we're going to use those. And again, they are just, they're not cardboard, they're actual metal. And then I got this scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. It is in this paper studio. That sheep came from Dollar General. The home was from Michael's. That rope is Dollar Tree and so is a sign. Now later on, we're gonna use some magnets and some raffia as well. So uh, those are not shown, but we will be using those. All right, so you're gonna take the back off and you're gonna use the glass. Save that print because you could totally reuse that for something else. And we're gonna use this glass and we're gonna cut our metal um, Dollar Tree hangers. And I know they're patriotic, but we're gonna use the back side of these. Just take off the twine. I'm not really worried about the holes that are in the top of the galvanized um, flag here, the pennant, because we're going to be covering it with um, a rope trim anyways. So just mark your lines at the bottom uh, there, or you can just cut it straight across. It's totally up to you. I just want to make sure for me, I wanted to eyeball the fit for this because we're going to be trying to cover this glass to fit it inside this frame. So just use your metal cutters and uh, links for everything will be found in the description here uh, of this video. So you'll be able to find everything. I do have a blog that I put all my supplies and materials that I use for projects on. So uh, you can visit themakersmap.com for that and that is themakersmap.com so cut your twine off again you're going to cut um, and then we're going to hot glue these to the glass now uh, the glue gets hot sometimes so you might want to maybe use the cardboard you could use something else you could use a board if you wanted to my glass did end up cracking on the back side and so i did end up using i did end up putting the cardboard on the back of the glass, but everything was pretty well glued together. So it wasn't like it was gonna fall apart. And then I just marked the edges because the the metal sheets of the galvanized metal were a little bit wider than the, the glass. So just trim off your edges. And there is um, a cool trick you can do with cardboard to kind of replicate um, galvanized metal, but I haven't tried that yet. So maybe I'll have to try that soon. So we're just gonna find our placement and you're gonna hot glue these to the glass. And it, I started to figure out like, why was it wonky? And it's because I cut it. So it started to curl, but you don't have to worry about it. Just get your glue and uh, glue there. You're gonna glue these right down to the glass. Yeah, make sure I'm I'm trying I'm trying to voice over this while I'm watching it. So make sure when you place this that you leave room to kind of center it because we're gonna cover what's showing of the glass with rope. And you'll see that here in just a second. All right, glue them down really good. Don't press too hard because like I said, the glue gets hot and you could crack your glass. And I don't want don't want to see that happen. So go ahead and glue this on and we're not covering it, we're not painting it, we're not doing anything. Uh, I think I had to get an extra glue stick and then just glue them on. Be careful because that metal heats up. So hold on to the edges and then try to line up your seam and just press it down. The next thing you're going to do is see the back. Uh, you're going to, you're going to see the back side through the glass, but we're going to use the cardboard. I'm trying to think about how to explain this. You can kind of visually see that it gets, it, it wants to kind of separate a little bit. So what you're going to do is I just took it back out and I tried to glue a bead of glue to the inside of the frame, but it still wasn't, it's like the glass didn't fit all the way in. So you're going to want to figure out how you want to attach it if you want to do so. But I did notice that once we added the cardboard towards the end, I really didn't need to glue the glass in at all but it's totally up to you if you wanna just glue it in. But this is what you're gonna see. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the placement of things. So our home's gonna sit on there and then we're going to use this sheep that I got from Dollar General. It was on a totally different piece of material, uh, decor that I got. And I just traced the pattern to the sheep and we're going to Mod Podge it onto there 
And so um, we, we want to just cover up where it said, like, I think bat or something like that. So we're just going to cover that up, uh, like you see here, with the Mod Podge. And I love some Mod Podge. I love to use Mod Podge. I know you probably do, too. Um, I buy the industrial sizes. I don't know if anyone else buys the sample sizes at Dollar Tree, but I totally get the industrial size Mod Podge, and I just made sure to double up the coverage. So, because we wanted it to stick really good, because you're gonna be, be you're gonna, we're gonna ma put a magnet on the back of this. So we, when we pull it off and on, we don't want our Mod Podge, our paper to come off. So we want our Mod Podge to stick really good. Then I just use my heat tool, my heat gun on a low setting. Um, I don't make that heat gun anymore, but I'll have an alternative link for you in the description here. But uh, just make sure, and I used to, there was some glue dripping, so I used a piece of that metal to kind of scoop it out. But just dry your surface really good because it'll still be kind of tacky and you don't want it to be tacky. So this is where the fun comes in. Uh, we're going to use our Dollar Tree magnets, and we're just going to glue them to the back. Make sure that you're use gluing down the right side or else it's going to want to repel. And we don't want that to happen. So double check. I was just double checking my magnets. And then glue them on. I think I glued three to the the sheep, two to the home, and then we made a raffia bow, which was so cute. Uh, just And if you can see the magnet through the home, it's okay. I was worried about that too. But for the most part, it wasn't even noticeable. Once you get it all on there and put together, it's actually really stinking cute. So here's where the mess comes in. <laughs> the raffia. Who has the worst time with raffia? This girl right here. I always have the worst time with raffia. But you're just going to bunch it up and you're going to loop it around and you're going to take a piece of raffia and you're going to tie it into a knot. And then you're just going to trim your edges, basically. And you're going to cut you down a bow and you're going to fluff it and cinch it in the center. And just check your sizing before you cut down too far. If that's what I end up doing is just checking to see how big I wanted my bow to be. And we didn't really tie a bow. We just created a bow and then we just kind of cut it and it made it look like a bow. And then you're going to glue yourself a magnet to the back of that. And you're going to be able to place that as well. So, um, and then here at the end, I did uh, put the rope around the trim. We've got our bows done. We've got our home is done. Our sheep is done. Everything's done. This is where my glass cracked. And it's because I was putting the glue directly to the glass at the end. And see, I was checking it did crack. So I ended up putting that cardboard backing back on there. So... Um, it's up to you once you, if you decide to make this or something similar, if you do use the glass, just know that, uh, you're probably going to have to put a backer on it like cardboard and then just trim your rope up and you can start sticking all the little pretty things to it. Um, and arranging things. So like you, like I said, you don't have to use the sheep. You don't have to use a raffia bow. You could use a totally different word, improvise, get creative and, it's just adorable. I thought it was so cute. I thought this was the funnest idea. And I uh, put a button. I didn't show you that, but I, I got a little wood button out of my little bin of tricks over there. And I just glued a button to the front of it. And then we're going to add a bead hanger. So I do get these beads at Amazon. And I use a darning needle because that's the only thing that I found that has an eye big enough to fit the twine through for me to thread the beads, which is so much easier for me to do is just to thread them with this needle. I used to fight with trying to thread the, the beads themselves, but we ended up using 20 of these beads. And I want to say they're like the 16 millimeter, maybe, or they could be the 20. I'll have to double check on that, but I'll put the, the information below. And then I glue to my twine. And then attach the bead to the glue. And then I do the same thing on the other end because I tried tying knots and it never worked out. So I couldn't get my knots thick enough and it just didn't look very clean. So I glued to the back of my cardboard here in a large section. I just rolled the twine through the glue and then I got my finger protectors and just pushed it in. And there you have it, you guys. This thing turned out so stinking adorable. I absolutely love it. It's going to go into my home. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Remember, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook, and I will see you on the next video. Tell me in the comments what you think, and I'll see you next time. Bye, friends.